Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft 1.7 on the Project Ozone 2 mod pack. So, uh, I've not played Minecraft for a while, so uh, I thought I'd do uh, a recap of uh, what I've been up to. So, uh, last episode, I went to Mars and I got the tier 3 rocket schematic. So, uh, today, I'll be aiming to build the rocket to go to Venus and hopefully we can get uh, carbon so we can upgrade the energy ball it's currently a tier 3 for a tier 4 we need carbon so uh, we'll get some carbon hopefully but yeah mainly this episode is just a recap of uh, what I've been up to in the uh, in the world so uh, as you may know the goal of this playthrough is to get 1 billion diamonds so uh, let's check how many we've got in the ME system. So at the moment we've got nearly 7 million diamonds. So uh, just under 1%. So uh, we've got a long a long way to go yet. So uh, yeah, this is where it all started. On this very block here. And uh, yeah, it was nothing but a uh, patch of uh, green dirt. I then built my mob spawner. I, I built this very early on so I could get lots of uh, reward bags, loot bags. And uh, this obviously gives me lots of um, ender pearls, bones, skeleton skulls, that kind of thing. Arrows. Okay, so this area is my space area. This is where I build and launch the rockets. As you can see, there's a tier 1 rocket here. And I've got a tier 2 on the launch pad here. And this is where I make the rockets. So uh, as you can see, I've got quite a few schematics. And I should have the uh, tier 3 somewhere. There is the tier 3. So uh, we'll learn that now. So with the tier 3 rocket we can go to Venus and uh, possibly Mercury I think. And uh, whilst we're on Venus we'll look for carbon ore. Okay so that's the uh, space area. The next area I'm going to show you is the farms area. This produces my uh, emeralds, diamonds, coal, zirconium. You name it I'm growing it. And these are all 10 10 10 seeds. I uh, spent a lot of time crossbreeding the seeds, so I'll get 10 10 tens. And um, over here is my Minecio farm, which is very important. I started farming Minecio from pretty much from episode one, because uh, you'll need a lot of it. And uh, this is my Eulorium farm. As you can see under here, I'm using growth pulses and uh, an imaginary time block to speed up the uh, the growth. So uh, these are my farms. This is my tree farm, rubber saplings and oak saplings. And over here, I can spawn in blocks using the uh, anim wand of animation. I'll just show that working right now. So uh, I get this uh, Awakened Draconium Safari Ball and I put it into here. And in a few moments, it should spawn a draconian block, awakened draconian. And I've also got octuple compressed cobblestone, which produces a massive amount of EMC. There's the uh, awakened draconian. 
So uh, all this goes back into my uh, ME system. Which I'll show you now actually. So uh, I can access the ME system from up here. As you can see I've got a lot of materials. Got nearly 400,000 emeralds. Tons of coal. And all the essence from the farms goes into these compactors. Gets compacted into materials. And uh, it goes back into the ME system. So uh, here's the ME core. It's uh, 7x7, the maximum size. But um, I'm not using any of the channels basically at the moment. And uh, here's my deep storage which I use to store all my diamonds, all my coal. There you go, 7 million diamonds, one block. If if that block somehow got damaged, um, well, it'd be all over, really. And here are my ME drives. As you can see, I've got lots of space for expansion in the future. This is my uh, diamond receive chest, which is uh, producing diamonds in the mining dimension, which I'll show you shortly. And over here is my lava generation. I'm using Eulorian blocks to uh, melt cobblestone into lava. So this all gets turned into lava. And upstairs, it powers these lava generators which are 64 times of a normal lava generator and uh, this was my first attempt at um, EMC duplication I have Temperio Essence going into a redstone furnace which makes demon steel this goes back into here and makes more Temperio and the overflow goes into the chest to be turned into EMC. This condenser here produces diamonds from the uh, Temperio, the demon steel. Okay. Okay, so next area I'm going to show you is my farm area. So uh, this is my crop breeding area. As you can see at the moment, I'm trying to breed experienced seeds and uh, dark steel seeds. And uh, I've got just got chests full of seeds, basically, and essence. These are my animals. I moved them from uh, just over there. And uh, they've got plenty of space. And here is my village breeder. I started off with just uh, two villagers. And uh, building a structure like this allows you to uh, duplicate villages. It's a uh, vanilla Minecraft mechanic. And uh, I used all these villages to uh, create the uh, Aristotle stone. Which... Uh, which requires uh, Vibrantium. Which requires uh, enticing crystals which requires a soul vial for a villager and you need 18 of them so that was fun anyway I've got room for expansion here and this is my QED area and uh, lastly here's my smeltery just a very basic smeltery really and I've got an anvil an enchanter from Ender IO got an auto tool station and a disenchanter and uh, I don't really use this much anymore because uh, I've got the draconium staff of power and I've got some really good uh, weapons and tools okay let's head on to this area this is my power generation area as you can see I've got a very big big reactor it produces quite a lot of power 
we turn this on you'll see how much so uh, all the energy from here gets uh, transmitted by a tesseract into the energy ball and this is currently at 1.64 billion RF and uh, this reactor produces about 2 million RF tick and uh, I'm currently using that power to uh, power this uh, laser drill assembly I was hoping to get carbon ore from this but it um, doesn't appear to work so uh, I will have to go to Venus to get the carbon turn it off for now okay so let's head into the mining dimension and uh, this is my prototype for a EMC farm I'll show you what's happening here I've got a basic ME system and it uses Enderian blocks blaze rods and plutonium to make ludicrite now those ingredients go into these crafters and they're constantly making ludicrite as you can see now I pump out the ludicrite into these condensers which produces more blaze rods more plutonium and more enderium so uh, I basically basically got an infinite loop of uh, EMC and the excess goes into this condenser here which produces the diamonds uh, although it doesn't produce a lot so uh, I'm hoping to uh, increase expand this uh, contraption to a much larger size so uh, I'll be able to get much more diamonds and uh, the reason I put it in this dimension is because this is the mining dimension and it's always daylight here. Now I can just power this with uh, solar panels. But uh, these are just solar panel freeze. So I really need to get working on solar panel, well the maximum, maximum tier of solar panel really. But yeah this is working fine at the moment. It's uh, self sustaining. As you can see I've got 10 million enderium. 10 million blaze rods uh, what's that 1.2 million ludicrite 6 million plutonium okay okay so uh, for today's task I'll uh, be building the tier 3 rocket I'll be making the upgraded thermal suit to go to Venus and then hopefully I'll be flying to Venus so uh, I'm gonna get started on that and uh, I'll be right back Okay, so that didn't take very long. I've now got tier 3 thermal padding. To make the tier 4, I need carbon, which is uh, the thing we're trying to get in the first place. So uh, we can't uh, make the tier 4 just yet. So uh, let's remove this. Now uh, I'm pretty sure, because I've got the uh, draconic armor, I probably don't even need to make the uh, thermal padding. 
but I'm just going to make it just in case. Okay, put that in there. Okay, now to make the uh, tier 3 rocket, which is uh, going to be fun. Heavy duty plates. It's dash. Plates. Okay, this is going to take a while. I'll be right back. One eternity later. And I'm back. Well, that didn't take too long. So uh, I think we can make the tier three rocket now. Okay, so uh, put these in. I think we've got all the ingredients to make the rocket. Oh, hang on. No, we don't. We want chests. Let's do it. Tier 1 boosters. Rocket fins. There we go. Tier 3 rocket. See how this looks? Wow, it's huge. Oh my god. Let's put it down on the uh, launch pad. There we go, wow that is a big rocket, oh my god. Let's check the fuel. Okay, we'll need to, uh, need to fuel it. Load in the fuel. Okay, so let's check the, uh, the clipboard. We've made the tier 3 rocket, we've made the uh, thermal suit, so uh, now all we need to do is go to Venus, which we'll do next. Okay, so we're full on oxygen, got plenty of food, I think we'll take this uh, chest. And uh, we've got our way of coming home. Our enhanced charm of dis dislocation. If you don't know what it does, you just right click it and it sends you home immediately. Okay. Just going to make a dev null. For uh, Venus, go eight two. Okay, let's check the fuel. Full on fuel. Check we've got everything. Parachute, oxygen mask, oxygen gear, heavy oxygen tanks, and we've got the tier 3 padding. Okay guys, I uh, think it's time to go to Venus.
Just going to check I've got everything. Got the chest. Got my way home. Got my staff of power. Got some things to build with. is going okay let's not mess this up Venus tier 3 launch Wait for uh, the chest to land. To uh, land. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in my dev null. That means any uh, any more of this rock that I pick up, it won't go into my inventory. Oh yeah, let's set a waypoint as well. Landing point. So uh, let's look for some carbon. I think I'm just going to dig straight down. Oh nice, we got a mob so Okay, let's try and find... Oh, is that it? Carbon. Found it already. There it is. And I think we just need one. Yep, just need one. Brilliant. I'm really pleased with that.
Okay guys, I think that's it for Venus. We've uh, got the carbon. So uh, let's head back home. There's Earth. Okay, so hopefully, if we put this carbon ore in here, it should smell into a carbon ingot. There it is, and now we can EMC. And uh, that's great, job done. Get a ton of that. Brilliant. Well guys, that's it for another episode. Got a lot done today. We got the carbon ore and we made the tier 3 rocket. I'm very pleased with how it went. But yeah, it's nice to get back into Minecraft, I think, after all the uh, Grim Dawn. But yeah, uh, appreciate any likes, any comments, any tips. Please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, I'll see you.